Hi everybody, I'm Mark with the Average Me Channel. In this video, we're going to look at how to tie a double Windsor knot in a necktie. Stick around. Hi everyone, Mark here with the Average Me Channel. Today we're going to tie a double Windsor knot. I like the double Windsor because it makes a real nice symmetrical triangle. Um, I think it's best when you have a thinner tie. I don't mean thinner this way. I'm talking about a thinner fabric because um, it, it does wrap around a couple of times and also a longer tie because this takes about eight inches of the tie to make a proper knot. Now I'm going to take the shorter end. It hangs down about halfway. I know you can't see the whole necktie, but it hangs down about halfway. The end of the tie is about eight inches below where I want it to end up. In other words, about eight inches below, in my case, uh, my belt buckle. So we're gonna start by taking the long end, crossing it over the short end, and I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. So I just wrap it all the way around one time. Now I'm going to come up and tuck it right through the front, just like that. Okay, so all it did was went around the back and then tucked in. Now we're going to come across the front with it right across the front, that's going to be the front of my knot, and it's going to go behind and up through. So behind, up through, and now that part that I just wrapped in the front is going to tuck inside there. It tucks right inside. And then we just shape a little bit, tighten it up, and I'm going to cinch it, I'm going to tighten my shirt, or uh, button my shirt rather, and then I'm just going to cinch it up a little bit by pulling the back part, and it slides the knot right up, and then you can shape it how, however you'd like. And you can see that the double Windsor is a really nice, neat, symmetrical not for a necktie. That's, that's the way I like to wear a tie. In the next video, we're going to look at the single Windsor. It's a, a little crooked knot. A lot of people like it. It's a, a little more jaunty, a little more stylish perhaps, and it uses less of your tie. So if you have a shorter tie, you might think about using the single Windsor. We'll see you next time. I'm Mark from the Average Me Channel.